Hello everybody, welcome back to 3-Way Plays. My name is Justin. Today we are continuing our Firewatch playthrough. Last time we had the beginnings of the June fire, our first fire of the season, and we had some questionable conversations with our boss Delilah while we are still married to Julia. So a little bit of uh, pseudo phone sex going on there, I suppose. Uh, it kind of cut out before anything crazy happened. Before we get started, if you guys wouldn't mind, head down, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to the thousand subscribers needed to monetize the channel. If you guys wouldn't mind supporting us in that, that would be amazing. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem there they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Thank you, Henry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so starting off, we are now on day 76, and we have a fishing pole. We're going down to the river to catch us some fresh dinner. Tired of eating that jerky, I guess. Put this away. And on our way, Delilah has asked us to check out for some tracks from a problem bear. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for those. So search the lakeside for bear tracks heading back to Josie Lake. Place we have been several times. Here's that old campsite from episode number one. As far as I know, the girls are still missing. No updates from the police there. No mention this morning. Can't remember exactly what day that walkie-talkie conversation occurred. But no mention of it today. Oh. Was that a bear? very quiet I heard something I don't see anything but I definitely heard something and we're looking for a bear well I don't see any tracks oh what is this? Clipboard? Wapiti Station Clipboard. Was that sound we heard? Somebody running away? They left the clipboard? Someone left their clipboard out here. Huh. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Okay. I don't see a bear. I don't see any feet prints. What? The, uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Oh. Henry, I'm worried. Locate strange noise. You didn't find and eat any 
mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. No, we did not. Regardless, just let me know, okay, buckaroo? Oh god, I don't know why I just called you that. <laughs> yeah, somebody's been eavesdropping on our radio conversations, writing down what we're saying, day 64. So that's when we had that conversation. Then the 4th of July, day 70, we're on day 76. So he's been listening to us for a while. So we can keep this. It won't let me turn the page to see what was on the other side. And now we're up oh, the June fires over there. Now we're being told to locate the strange noise, which could be a bear, or it could be the clipboard owner, in which case they're already creepy. Okay, towards the canyon, oh, there's something, something up there on the ground. Oh. Uh -oh. The radio. It is a radio. Is it the radio they're using to listen to us? I found a walkie-talkie out here too. My voice isn't coming from it. Okay. It's going shit house. Well, get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. We'll do. Creepy stuff going on, I don't know. Okay, red radio. Oh, oh! What? Henry, are you there? What happened, Henry? What the fuck? I just, I got hit in the head. How the name Wapiti Station right before us cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Why? Are you are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers, and they came back to sucker punch you. Eh, mm. Delilah. It's just, oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Look, I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, H and D, clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. You know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. I'll hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. You got it, boss. Somebody knocked us the fuck out. And we apparently are going to go chase them down and figure out why. So the clipboard is gone. It was on my purse. And the radio, same thing. Delilah hesitant to believe our story. And now we need to go towards Wapiti Meadow path straight up okay let's go and check out Wapiti station I think if I was in this position I would just call the cops and wait the amount of time it would take him to get out here unless they're concerned about the missing girls they don't want to sound crazy oh Just some animals. We got a supply cache that we have not opened yet. 305. 
Old Sweater, University of Eastern Colorado. Got a book. Oh. Hmm. Got another note between Ron and Dave. Ron got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say? Though budget being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up, Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and professional. Okay. So a little, some more communications between Ron and Dave from 86. It's now 89. So about three years ago. We'll keep this note. They're both long gone, presumably. And we'll copy this. Okay. Heading on. Got a tie-off point here. We're going the right way. Yes, we are. Yeah, Delilah still hesitant whenever we tell her something. She doesn't like not being able to see it with her own eyes. She has trouble believing us. That doesn't sound all that crazy, unless our character is crazy and I don't know it. I guess I can't blame Delilah, as I am also not sure of Henry. Did somebody do that, or is that just like that? But there's obviously somebody else out here. Not an animal. Those girls are still missing. They're allegedly the ones who messed up my tower. Oh, what's this? A fence. A big fence. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions, acres. What, what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. No trespassing. 18 U.S. Code, SS 1863. Whoever without lawful authority or permission goes upon any national forest land while it is closed to the public pursuant to lawful regulation of the Secretary of Agriculture shall be fined under the title or imprisoned not more than six months or both. And we have a gate here with a padlock. I can't get in. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. I'll see if I can break in somehow. All right. Be careful. Punch it. Punch the lock. A stick. Nope. About these rocks. Nope. I should just be able to climb it. There's no barbed wire at the top, but I can't get in. Look, I'm not gonna be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here. Hey, actually, those guys doing the control burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned the line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who we have to head down to where they are burning a fire line near the June fire. See if the firefighters can help us. Where do we want to go now? Look for the controlled burn south of Ruby River. Okay, so on the map we've added our gate. South of Ruby. Oh, wow. All the way in the southeast corner of the map. So we got some walking to do. Yeah, just wandering around in the middle of nowhere with somebody who is very willing to hit me in the head with probably a blunt object, knock me unconscious, but that's fine. We're fine. Bears, too. That bear's still somewhere. This still unnerves me. 
Somebody did that. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Yeah, should we call the cops? Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Delilah's still not terribly on board. Guess I can see where she's coming from. It must be frustrating to be stuck all the way in your tower and not actually see what's going on, just hear it. But Henry's assertion is the same as my assumption when I saw the radio that he was using it to listen to us but when we had our conversation near the radio my voice did not come through that radio that doesn't mean it wasn't on a different frequency at that time though I know we don't know what's going on yet but I don't have a good feeling I don't like feeling vulnerable it's not like you could just call the police I was thinking about the good ones it just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian. It's just how scared he would have been. He had his dad to protect him. Dad, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, more conversation about the Goodwins. I wouldn't presume that a missing persons report or a concern for the Goodwins' safety would have happened. Because as soon as it happened with the girls, we were notified. So you'd think that'd be the same case with Delilah and the Goodwins. Unless, of course, something happened to the Goodwins and Delilah is in on it. A lot of possibilities. Okay, heading up, we're about back to Two Forks. Here is Forrest Burns, manning his post. Okay, we've now made it back to our watchtower, Two Forks Tower. We've got the June fire burning in the distance. Well, the June fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so I just need to keep heading south. Hey, right, there's the river. Let's find a way to get down there. Okay, down at the river. Pretty wide river with a dam built. Let's uh, see if we can't hop. Yes, we can hop these rocks. Henry's awkward jumps. And then on the other side, a new cache box. Supply cache 307. Some old toilet paper. That could uh, come in handy. No option to keep it though. A few more books. I'll pick that up. Don't want to litter. And another note. Ron and Dave. 
Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time I preferred to keep things pinned to paper, but every once in a while it would be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through this bottle of fifes instead. Miss you, Dave. Yeah, some of the inflections in these letters. Maybe Ron and Dave were more than just buddies. Ahead and uh, keep this in case we need it later. Copy down the information on this map. We're getting into the area of the controlled burn. Yeah, recent burn. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Okay, yeah, so a fresh controlled burn there in hopes of stopping the continuation of the fire. It would run out of fuel, so it would just stop after it burns out. Let's see, is this an old river bed? We've got some... Uh, Oh, snowmobiles. I was thinking jet skis. Snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Stripped engine. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. Looks like another one. In a pond. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. <laughs> it looks like here's where the sign used to be. So, is the scout camp anywhere near Pork Pond? Yeah, it is. Just keep heading east. Keep heading east, which is what we are doing. Yeah, got a sign up here. What's this? Camp Arapaho. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yep, yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of scouts. Something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Is that right with me? Beware of weebelos in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. Well, I can't cross here. The bridge is out. Of course the bridge is out. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Okay, so now I have to go exploring for a way to get into the camp. Not sure how the hotshots are set up camp there with a the bridge out, but maybe they found a path, not sure. The June fires still going strong, and we've got some weird stuff going on. Let's see, broken bridge. I'm still looking for a way across the ravine. Well, there must be one. I mean, the firefighters made it from that camp to Ruby River. Yep, so we just said makes sense. So we will do that in our next video, but I think that is enough for today. We got a lot of interesting stuff going on, some narrative threads that I'm looking to pull the strings on so we can figure out exactly what's going on. 
So, if you're enjoying our content, please hit that subscribe button. We would genuinely appreciate it. Before we go, I'd also just like to say that everybody here at 3 Plays genuinely appreciates every single one of you guys who takes the time out of your day to watch our content. We can't thank you guys enough, and until our next video, I have been Justin. This has been 3 Way Plays with our Firewatch playthrough, and we hope to see you guys all next time. Thanks again, you guys, and goodbye.